Hi, this is Yvonne McNary, and I'm here with Betty Burden. How are you doing, Betty? I'm fine, thank you. And I'm here with Alma Burden. How are you doing, Alma? I'm fine today. Okay. <laughs> well, we're here today. We're going to be talking uh, or celebrating Black History Month, and uh, Alma and Betty are alumni of Rosenwald School, located on Spalding. I'm sorry, on Harrison Harrison Street in Lebanon, and we're going to be talking about Rosenwald School and uh, uh, how it made history in their lives. And uh, uh, let's talk to Alma a little bit here. Alma, tell me a little bit about your family and growing up here in Washington County. My mother was uh, Rosalie Burton. My daddy was Forrest, Forrest Burton. Mm -hmm. And we lived in uh, the rural area. We lived out in Route 2 Gravel Switch, Kentucky. We were all born in Gravel Switch. Oh, so yes. that, that's not too far from Lebanon. No, that's not too far from Lebanon. We're Gravel Switch people. And Gravel Switch people. And uh -huh. then you moved over? We, it's Washington County. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on Short Line uh -huh. in 1955. Okay. But we lived there and route to Gravel Switch all our life. We were born there. That's uh -huh. where we were born. In okay. And then you moved over on Short Line Pike? Over on Short Line Pike. Mm -hmm. In the part that's in Washington County? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's how you became a, that's a Washington, Washington, Washingtonian County. Yes. <laughs> Washingtonian. Yeah, that's Washington. exactly right. Yes, indeed. And Betty, uh, you were born down in Gravel Switch as well? I was. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. You guys are our sisters, and yes. uh, you both share a lot of history. Now tell us a little bit about uh, what you thought about growing up uh, on Short Line Pike. Well... When I grew up on Shortline Pike, we moved from Gravel Switch to Shortline Pike. And mm -hmm. then in 1957, before I started to go to school, my father, he passed away at 52 years old. He had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my mother had to take care of us. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, how many siblings? It was eight of us. Okay. And four girls and four boys. And today it's uh, three girls and one boy living. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about your education a little bit. I know that uh, you both went to the same school, and what was the name of it? It was Bethlehem Grade School, and we all was under one roof. It was uh, first through the eighth grade, and we had one teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one teacher. One teacher, <laughs> Philomena Bertha Moore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how, ma how many students? It was approximately 50. Probably 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, where is the school located? It's located, it was located uh, on Perival Road, right by the Bethlehem Church. Mm -hmm. The Bethlehem Church is still standing, but the school they tore down is where the bridge is. The bridge going to Perival, right below the Bethlehem Church, that's where the school was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And from there, you guys went, uh, this was like what, th first grade through first the eighth grade? First through the eighth grade. And then you transferred We over. transferred after we got graduated from the eighth grade, which I still got my picture from graduating from the eighth grade. It was three of four of us. Uh -huh. And I was the only girl. It was three boys, John Earl, John Albert, and Jimmy Wright. Okay. And we all graduated, and then we went to Rosenwald High School. Okay. So we all know that Rosenwald High School is in Marion County, yes. and you were living in Washington, Washington County. County. Mm -hmm. So I get... What was the reasoning behind you going to school in Lebanon or Marion County? The reason behind us going to Lebanon is because there was no black school. We couldn't go to school with the white children. Okay. We couldn't go to school with them, so we had to go to Lebanon to go to all black school. Okay. Now, where was Rosenwald located? It's on Harrison Street okay. in Lebanon. Okay, so it has not changed no. locations or anything no. throughout the years. Same no. place. Same place. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Rosenwald took you through what grades? Uh, it was, they had a grade school there. It was first grade through the twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. They had a, a elementary school was on one end and a high school was on the other. Okay. And Miss Smith was our principal. That's who the principal was. My teacher was Mr. Willie Coleman. That was my homeroom teacher. <laughs> I should have brought pictures of him and showed. Now, now what grade did you, you start there in the ninth, I, ninth grade? Yes, I was in the ninth grade when I went there. I graduated from the eighth grade at uh, Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. So when I went to high school, it was in Lebanon. We all went to Lebanon at high school, Rosemont High School. And it closed down in 1961 for high school. And then... Reverend Tommy Calhoun told us that he went there till 63 mm -hmm. because uh, 
And then when he went to Lebanon, he said there were only three black teachers there, Miss Smith, Miss Jabo, and Miss Davis. Okay. Was the only three black that went to, from there to, from Rosenwald. They was teachers at Rosenwald. Okay, now I know you went there too, starting in the ninth grade. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. tell, us, tell us a little bit about, how was it in the ninth grade? Did you enjoy it a little bit? I did. It was like 45 students, okay. freshmen at the, at the time that I went. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it, and you guys went because of segregation. Segregation. segregation yes. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. And uh, were, how did you feel about that? Did you feel like you were being left out or that you or that you weren't getting something that you needed and didn't couldn't get or how did you feel no I felt good I didn't really didn't even think about it you mm -hmm. know because uh, because that's the way life that's the was. way life yeah that's, that's the, the way, way life was things mm -hmm. went okay mm -hmm. so we had the Rosenwald school and um, you guys went 9 through 12 mm -hmm. and because of segregation, you could not stay in Washington County to go no. to go to higher education. No, we you could not. You had to go to the nearest. Had to go. How did you go? Was there was there public transportation for you? Or did well, you have to we drive? went to we went on. A, Mr. Will Clark picked us up, and he would bring us to High Street, and let us off on the corner, and then Van Simpson would pick us up on uh, High Street and take us to Rosenwald. Okay, that's how we got there. And you did that every day? Every day. We didn't miss a day. We went to school <laughs> every day. I didn't want to miss a day. You'd miss something if you missed a day. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the curriculum. Well, our studies was uh, algebra, and, uh, home economics, biology, reading, history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things like that? Yes. Okay. How'd you do? Did good. All right. Uh -huh. you, you know, Miss Parks was our home economics teacher. And she taught us how to sew and cook, and then we cook for the grade school children, and everybody would put their name down, and we would serve every how many that uh, mm -hmm. was uh, was there that wanted lunch that did not bring their lunch with oh, them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you had a full service school. Yes. You had the lunch room. You had, we had the a lunch room. The lunch room was in the home ec room. Okay. Miss Parks was the home ec teacher plus the lunch room, uh -huh. and whatever we made. Whatever she had on the menu that day, that's what we ate. That's what we cooked. She would, I never forget her egg salad. <laughs> it was the best egg salad. I never ate it again. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I could even make it like that anymore. Okay. Now, when you think of that, that building is still being used, what do you think about Rosenwald? It goes, goes on forever, doesn't it? It does. It goes on. We still have our reunion every year, and everybody comes home to go to the reunion. We'll be having it this year in July, July the 28th. Okay, for Rosenwald for School. For Rosenwald School. Mm -hmm. Okay, gradu graduation day. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take you forward a little bit. Gra yes. How many were in your graduating class? It was 10 in my graduating class. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven from the 45 and three came back uh -huh. and graduated in 1961. Well, did they give you any special certificates or anything like that for graduating, uh, honors or? Well, if you were good. Yeah, we had a valedictorian and a salutatorian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. okay. mm -hmm. Now, what about your graduating class? I didn't graduate from Rosewall. Mm -hmm. It closed down, and we had to come to Springfield. We came to Springfield when uh, when it closed down. That's when they segregated. Uh, it was called Springfield High School, mm -hmm. and that's where we went. I didn't go too long because the way they treated us, mm -hmm. they treated us like. We wasn't nothing, cause okay. so we, uh, it was a lot of us that just quit. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this was the time during segregation? Yes, it was 1961 when they. So did you have the feeling that you were not wanted there? Yes, we did. We had a feeling that we were not wanted, not even wanted there. No, we had to feel like that. Yeah. The teachers, some of the teachers were nice, mm -hmm. but some of them made us, they made us feel like we wasn't, we didn't belong there. So Rosenwald then had been a, a high point in your education. Yes. Rosenwald was a high point in our education. I, I loved Rosenwald when I went because we used to play at the Maypole, play bass. I never got to play sports like we did, we, but we would play baseball. Mm -hmm. But we always looked forward for May Day. May Day. May Day. We always no, looked no, forward for Now what for happened on May Day? May Day, everybody came. You could have visitors from other visitors on campus. On campus, mm -hmm. 
because uh, my sister-in-law that married my brother, he's already passed, uh, Maddie Warner, mm -hmm. she took me before I even got in high school. And that's how I knew about May Day. I was excited to go to be May Day. A big social event. Yes. <laughs> it was a big social event, everybody. So everybody came on May Day. I can remember May Day. Okay. Now, getting back over here to Betty, I know you graduated. Was there a prom? Yes, we had a junior and senior prom. Okay. Yeah. And uh, were you, did they have king and queen the prom? No, not that I can remember. No, we didn't have king and queen at prom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys had a good time. We had a good time. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of music and pretty dresses. A lot of music and pretty dresses. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Good food. Good food. Okay. As far as I can remember. Okay. I, I can remember. It's been so long ago. <laughs> I can remember because the juniors and seniors got to go to the prom, uh -huh. but the sophomores got to serve them and uh -huh. fix the food. Mm -hmm. And I can remember serving chicken. I remember them having chicken when we had, but we had to cook it. Okay. Now, I, I didn't ask you, how far behind are you from her? I'm two years. Okay. So, two years. so the school had closed by yes. the time that it was time yes. for you to graduate? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, the school had closed. Okay. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like you guys had a pretty good time at, at oh, Rosenwald. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love Rosenwald. I did. I liked it. Now, what are some of the skills that you learned at Rosenwald that maybe brought you to where you are today? Well, I uh, I have been with Head Start ever since. I love kids, mm -hmm. and there was kids, you know, there was kids in the grade school, and if one of the teachers got sick, they just send us down from the high school mm -hmm. to the elementary. So I said, oh, that's what I want to do, mm -hmm. and so that's I got it from Miss Burton. Miss Burton. We had a teacher that I was our first cousin, and Miss Burton. Mm -hmm. And she, every time she needs a Miss Burton, we could always go in Miss Burton and Miss Jabo's room. So I love going in there. And you help with the kids. Yes, and, yes. And therefore your long career. Long career. With Head Start. Yes, with Head Start. Fantastic. And over to you, Betty. Um, tell us maybe some things that you learned at Rosenwald that helped spark, spark you off to, to give you the start that you needed. Well, Miss Parks, she always taught us how to sew. And so uh, when I got... When I got married in 1964, I started working at Calvin's in Springfield. I was the first black to start working at Calvin's. And, and, and tell us what Calvin's was. Calvin was a sewing factory. Okay. Yeah. And where was that located? On High Street. In Lebanon? No, in Springfield. In Springfield. The okay. building is still there, the blue building on High Street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I worked there for like seven years, and then I moved to Dan Viola, and then I worked there. Then I moved to Peru, Indiana, and I worked <laughs> in the factory there and then I came back to Danville and I started working at Palm Beach in 1974 and I stayed there until 1987 when it closed. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You've had a long work career. I have. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. Now what do you think, what about going to Rosenwald School sparked you into such a, a, a great work ethic? Well, the teachers instilled it in you. You have to work. If you want anything out of life, you're going to have to work for it. And we really had, re they had respect for us and we had respect for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, I love that work ethic. And, and you too, uh, Head Start for all these years? Head Start, I've been there. I started January of 1970 mm -hmm. with Central with Kentucky Head Start. But 1965, I was at the old grade school mm -hmm. with Miss Simpson. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't get paid, but very much but Miss Simpson made sure I got something for being there all day uh -huh. and I was with Miss Simpson I, and I love Miss Simpson and I like working with the kids and some of the kids I, I just saw a child over there a while ago when I came in mm -hmm. and I stood there and talked to her she said oh you had my mama <laughs> and I said yes I did I had your mama <laughs> in Head Start in Head Start <laughs> What I've had generations, like three or four generations of children, mm -hmm. and I love it. Well, that's a great work ethic. What do you think we could do to, to pass that on to kids today? Kids today, I don't know about kids today. I don't know if they would want to work with children today. Mm -hmm. They would rather work at a factory probably mm -hmm. than work with children. But the work ethic, the going every day, being going there, showing day. up yes. on time. Showing up on time. you got to be on time. And you got to be a little early because some of them yes. will show up before time. Yes. So I always make sure that I'm there before the kids get there. Yes, indeed. Well, you two are great alumni 
uh, Rosenwald, and I thank you for being here with me today and telling me your story and uh, letting us know that you too are history makers in Washington and Marion County. I want to thank you very much. Uh, I've been speaking with Betty, Betty Burden, and here with her sister Alma Burden, who were uh, alumni of Rosenwald School over in Lebanon, Marion County, located on Harrison Street. Um, you might know the building over there. It's still standing. Yes. Still, still, standing. still standing today. Listen, thank you so much for being with me. Thank and you thank you. For, yeah, and thank you for helping me share, mm -hmm. helping me uh, uh, have a great uh, Black History Month. Thank you so much. All right. This has been Yvonne McNary for Central Kentucky Television.